then we are here in the band pick face already. The Fnatic is this one over team FDN. Big good one. Uh, I, I am not sure about the Mongols results in, in the first game, but um, this might be the first game at the tournament too. Well, before the game starts, the chance of winning this game is more like Mongols like 10%. Fnatic, 90%. Ten seconds remaining. Yes, see. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Dire team pick. And a band out. Earth spirit. Earth spirit first pick from the Mongols. Not bad. Team pick. Not bad. And having an Earth spirit, it do. Or some battle for a fanatic mid laner. Earth Spirit is gonna keep spamming his rolling boulder and trying to harass him mid along with the mid laner. It might be. I think fanatic might have to pick Outworld Devourer in this two pick. Because Outworld Devourer can get out of the gang by using this uh, the asshole prison. Keeper of. Juggernaut. The light in Juggernaut. Might be or might be not a Juggernaut mid. But I. Juggernaut is it's pretty good pick for mid laner in case we have to deal with the Earth Spirit. Radiant team. team Mongo. Not bad. Ten seconds remaining. Dire team ban. I don't know why they still they still have to ban Timberson when they already got keeper the light. But thing is, the keeper like these days is not not that. Just on his second skill anymore. Like, he always go for um, illuminate first because second skill got nerfed by using more mana. Having a band out, uh, doing pretty good homework for Team Mongols and know that Team Fnatic uh, really use uh, uh, are so into Pakna lately. Bomb spread for ban. I think third hero. What's it gonna be? Game guys, Arm and anti mage band out. That is good one because you know when when you are when you know that you are the weakest side oh, and you have to play uh, against very much stronger team. Uh, good choice is you pick some hard carry, um, something that can that can help you in late game and something that can do some so many things like fighting. Split pushing and anti mage is actually the real answer for that. Actually, for the Mongol. Party hunter, fanatic. Oh, she is back to drop again. I remember back then, like one or two years ago, that that Mushi is keep throwing the drop by. Banning a Riki, Riki and 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 Bounty Hunter every game. Remember? But if you are the real Southeast Asian fan, you will remember. Stop work. Punja. Oh, oh, ah! 
Oh my. <laughs> it's a, a position four. But, you know, this but the day, these day can be used to uh, play as an attacking or a defending. Actually, lately they, they love to use Pudge as, um, as a defending hero. Especially when, when the other team just keep faces void, they, they can just use Pudge, uh, Pudge to, to hook someone out of the Chronosphere. Pretty good idea. But I kind of worry because they... they Pudge is actually a position for heroes. And they already got the spirit as for season four. <clears throat> if they, you force one of these two heroes to play for season five, it will be very poor. You would touch or earth spirit, one of them will be very, very poor. So let's see how they're gonna manage the lanes and, and the roads. Passing by an alpha team fanatic. Ten seconds remaining. Hello? Test? Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. For the last band from Team Mongols, what's it gonna be? Oh. Yeah. Alchemy spanned out. I don't know why it's Alchemist. But yeah, I mean. I mean, if you are not sure with your ganking, ganking Ten skills, better ban the hard carry of, of the opponent. But Five you are sure seconds. that you can gank him down, you just let him fight. This is the last pick of Team Mongol. It's got, it's still got so plenty of time. Just use it. Last pick. It's gonna be the hard carry for Team Mongols. Carry to cancel them all. So as I mentioned earlier, that if you want to play against a strong team, you got to pick a super hard one. Super hard. Uh, informing you guys again that I will be casting uh, three more games after this game. Life stealer. Life stealer. Oh, oh, how are they gonna do? I mean, life stealer and first spirit. Not so effective, if you ask me. I mean, I, I still prefer something like an Axe Life Stealer. Five seconds. Or even Slada Life Stealer, but you no, know, they they having they having a Dark Seer as as an off laner, which is it'd be quite hard. Because Dark Seer is the kind of hero that needs farm and and he cannot perform um, a single target gang. He's not the catching catching off laner like something like a Bat Rider. He he would be very strong in team fight, I admit, but well, let's see. I speak from team fanatics. What's it gonna be, boys? Okay, Spectre. Man, I I, I really like this one from fanatics.
try it, boy. Back to the game. Gonna do some quick intro before the game begins. For Team Fnatic in a radiant side. Uchi on Spectre. AU on Bounty Hunter. Demon with the light. Seven on Juggernaut and Ohio on Clockwork. Team Mongol is in a dire side. Proxy on Earth Spirit. Uh, Retribution on Life Stealer. Uh, Mask Break on the Darcia Arioka. Ariata on Touch in Sanke Inga. Again, I'm I'm not so sure about the uh, that 3D position for draft from Team Mongols, but it might work. In Thirty seconds to battle. They're gonna play that. Earth, it seems like they're gonna play that Earth Spirit as um, position five, buying all the ward. That means this Earth Spirit will be very, very poor. The battle begins. Smart money. I said, I can't. As he's going, a spectre mid, really? They're not bottom by Raven. State of what? What's in their mind? Um, I think their idea is it. It might try to rush that spectre horn and and use this spectre as a gangster. Bottom lane and try. To and the first attempt to kill that smash turret, Juggernaut. Oh my goodness, that is so easy, first blood. Surely there was blood before that one. I can't quite remember. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I don't know, man. I, I, feel, I feel so weird about, about the draft of Team Mongo. See, hey, the, the hero doesn't seem to... It, it's quite hard to play for Team Mongo, to be honest. Oh, fanatic hero is not that not that hard. Having a body hunter roaming around that people that like take care of that going on. Yeah, a little bit weird by Spectre mid against Tinker, but be okay. I think it was not bad. Now better be careful about the uh previous night for team team Mongo. A little rough for Mushi because I think that it's gonna keep spamming his laser. Uh, the rune control will be very important. AU job is to control the rune. Don't let that thing get his rune. What the heck? Terrat. Gonna die. It's whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, 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 wow! That was. Party Hunter. Let's secure Tinga. Nice gang. He gets to kill a Tinker first, so he he's the one who gets the experience. Tinker only got gold. Oh, solo smoke for the first time in this game. Looking to do some hook. The mid. I <laughs> played a lot of Spectre game, but I never. I only played like one or two times. Been playing like more than uh, 350 games of Spectre. Around like 
52% win rate Sometimes it feels better Oh, got away and he's gonna throw some gas a very nice power gang by Team Fanatic uh, Dropping quite low for Sanke But three heroes appear in the middle lane for Team Mongols and manage to get the kills The Earth Spirit just bang him He... Bong About the answer goes down Our bottom lane is Master Spectre Manager got away. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and over there. That's right back right away by Sanke. <coughs> Shooting the laser. In there to get the kill. AU diving in. A little bit too deep for the power. Uh, 4 TP down, but he will he go down in time. Double kill for the Moshi. Oh, Mr. Hook! Man, that is... Geez, that's not good. What Team Mongo probably does, but he doesn't have a hook. And does it... Not, what is that? Kind of panic, Ariuga. Pop the dust. But he doesn't have a hook. Now he missed the hook again. Illuminate to slow down, but he doesn't have a dust. <laughs> Don't you get it? You know, first time you got a dust. Like, hey, I got a dust. I got a hook. Ugh. Dust and hook. But now this time. You got a hook, but you doesn't have a dust. Oh my goodness, that's that's kind of panic play by the punch player. Meanwhile, at the top lane, I strike back by Mongols and had to kill that body hunter in the middle lane. I think. And I gotta calm down from in Mongols. Calm down. Holding boulder in, not gonna hit anyone. Miss the boulder smash as well. Oh, she Spectre mid got two kills already, guys. Do think next one is going to be Ariuga for sure. He's going for the rune. Very easy kill by Mushi. Spectre killing three on the bottom lane three farming, of course. Juggernaut having a pretty good time over there. And the highest net worth is also in Juggernaut. Sanke Q2 die 2, his travel boots and all his items will be quite slow. Having a Tinker you will... The other hand carry will not... You know, actually it, it's a good thing that they pick a light dealer because I think Mongols know that they already got a, a Tinker which is gonna push the creep waves away so the hand carry will not get that much farm. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna let Tinker farm when it, when mid games come until late game. And this retribution, Life Shield is just gonna stay inside someone. Maybe Earth Spirit and trying to gang with a rolling boulder and in the face combo. Oh, a very nice okay in this one, Ohio. And now it goes down uh, on by that Tinker setting up the power pop, uh, trying to run away from the tower. He was slowed down by open wound. Uh, retribution uh, also joined Team Spider. Retribution got some contribution right here. Owning Clockwork to kill that Earth Spirit with the um, style. It's the hook again. <coughs> and Spectre slashing down. 10 to 3 games for this game might end real quick to be honest. There must be something to improve this game for Team Mongolia. <laughs> Holy moly. The draft so messed up. You know, but the even more messy thing is that gameplay. The execution is very bad for for Mongols. Ariuga. Not looking good at all, but he's on call if you ask me. Ah, uh, the hook. Inside Ohio got a good hook. On the down side game for that spectre for, for that tinker.
main fight stealer. That might be the first kill in this game for Retribution. Got a demon. End to four games worth. Want the gate for our yoga? Man, the, the hook percentage is so low. This one. Pop the dots. That and that doesn't have the hook. That game. And now he got a hook, but he doesn't have his friend. So he's alone there and got caught down. Our yoga. That, that actually is zero dates already. Uh, we do, yeah. I'm gonna go for something like um a drum, it's pretty good. Space boot drum and a bottle for Spectre. This is the ganking style. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Top lane. I don't think we have to take a look at the graph. On we be on Team Fnatic, both Golden and Exter and Dern. Omni Slash for the first time, easy kill on that pot once again. That is 6 8 already for Team Ariuka. Locked down in the power box, going bold and trying to save his teammate. Ohio with stuns. Oh, the mad retribution. That might be Ohio goes down because he was so far away from his teammate. Nate trying to take that top tower. So easy to get. Yeah, the, the reason that they picked the Spectre is, is Spectre is another good hero to hunt down that Tinker. You know, all he needs is taunt and throwing some data on Tinker. Diving in for Proxy, Proxy, but he's not alone then. He's a life healer inside. He should have a track already. Hey, you. Okay, bro. Find cash mid Dante. We can get a card. Back and a hunt down. Let's see where is he. Hunt down right here, aiming for the profit. Aiming on the track card at first. Going to be the first track kill this game. And it will give Team Fanatic lots of money because it's a hard carrier Team Mongo. Hang up the wall, but it's not so effective. Dyer's top tower is on the What you gonna do when you got a hook, you got a patch, and you got a dot? Boom, there it goes. Do not. Die Ohio. Why Team Mongo is so low? A lot of damage has been done by Team Fnatic. That is easy to kill. 15 to 5, sorry. Mongo used to be much stronger. I remember last time I had Carson, but it seems like this game is maybe because of the draft. Gameplay is very bad. <laughs> 15 to 6. Nothing much they can do as well. I mean, I mean, it is kind of. Heroes, I don't know they, they, why they're having two position 4 heroes in that team. I mean, Pat is position 4, uh, Earth Spirit is also position 4. They are not the real support. But what they are doing is that they're trying to force that Earth Spirit to play in position 5. Buy all the stuff, and Earth Spirit cannot do much when he doesn't have a level and, and also item. What do you expect? You know, he, he rolling boulder in. 
and then and then he come out as a dead body. Not gonna survive from any single throwing boulder. I I don't I don't like the drop at all for Team Fnatic can. Uh, I'm sorry for Team Mongols. Uh, and this got some good news though. Some kills and some farm. Now he got a good travel that's gonna go for the next item Soul Ring. Uh, Soul Ring go for Ethelane. I don't even need an Ethelane to put it for an Agon and Scepter. Uh, no. Soul Ring then a Blink and then Agon and Scepter. Is under attack. Being called to the bottom lane, I think. And hooked in on that tanker. Very nice too. Very nice combination between a ball and a hook and a track. And it's an attack kill. It's too late to GP down, but it seems like Team Mongols is going to fight because they are under the tower. But how are they going to catch? They doesn't have any any catching off laner. The off laner that they got is the Darcy, which is pretty good in team fight. But the thing is, Mongol doesn't have a hero that can... That can... I mean, Darcy will be, will be very good if, if you... If you're having... Um... Uh... Like, if you're running at 5 men all the time. Because Darcy, a vacuum and a wall is strong, so strong in team fight. But when you are not running by, he he cannot do anything. He he's not the kind of hero like Nix has seen that can do some solo kills or do some scout with Vendetta. All he can do is farm. He cannot catch anyone as a bad rider because he's not that high mobility and he doesn't have a catching spell. It's very hard draw in Mongol. And they didn't even mean out draft it by Team Fnatic, they, they draft these kind of heroes themselves, they always got a choice during the draft. That is sad, man. Should have done much, much better. They were trying to fight back. Like Healer, get rid of that body hunter. Radiant near the tower is under attack. Evan is very fast. Heals already. That's the items update, in case you want to know. This <laughs> is oh for the tower to shoot that juggernaut down. He's actually the first day to this game. Makes the quickest kick. The mid Moosey, how can can mid Specter play against him and got away like that? Oh, oh my! After this game, they need a big big team talk for Team Mongols. It, it seems like they they went into this game like. With no attempt to win at all for Team Mongo, it's like it's like they already they already prepared themselves to lose before the game even starts. So they, they they might see the schedule and they count this match as as a loss match before the game even starts. They gotta they gotta fight, man. They, they obviously lack compassion here in this game of Team Mongo. Now keep fighting Mongo to hook something. Very nice one. That is actually the first hook hit in this game. Good hook by the Tarja. 
Oh my goodness, but it just, you know, that doesn't have that much damage to take out Ohio. Ohio is quite fat, so quite tanky as well. That shoots him down. Wow, two down for Team Fanatic. That might be a little comeback by Team Mongol. Come on, keep it up. You can win this one. Food. But need to be careful because he, he doesn't have that much HP. Not that hard to take him down for Spectre. And at the top, maybe some hook would be great. I'm gonna keep the hook light dealer inside that uh, earth spirit light dealer from the world. But the hot guy at the same time, setting up the wall, where the vacuum. See, I don't, I don't really like that dark deer pick, man. I, I. I've been to Brazil when so many teams pick Dark Tier and the win rate of Dark Tier in, in that tournament is so low. In this case he doesn't he can't do anything at all, he just drops his wall and runs. Dyer's Meagle's power is under attack. minutes only 5 to 10 games Warren is gonna push top I think you can die kick time not even close to his flank dagger this is so slow Again, he doesn't have that much damage to kill anyone. So he hooked the guy who is going to kill him. He hooked them to kill him. Not so reasonable. I mean, the, the positioning of part of his teammate is not related to, to each other. Nice, he comes slaughter. They're running away. He jokes his way out. Oh, there it goes. I don't get the drop at all. <laughs> they have a dark tier. The thing is, when he when he did some vacuum on the wall, and he, they they doesn't have any and any AOE spell to to combo with vacuum. So, what's the point? Yeah. It's so easy game. Fanatic so far. I mean, if Mongo still cannot find some relationship between the uh, death skills, it's gonna keep coming like this and pack. Should be it, you know, because they lost too many track goals to Team Fanatic. All the kills that Fanatic got, 31 kills already. It's all, it's all track kills. In a crowd, more than 20,000 already. Hero 
was already Spectre. I'm pretty sure the next one is going to be a Mental Style. The only guy who seems to have a good farm is Light Healer. But still, 3 and start same for rest of the Only the one to 13. A double kill for the Light Healer. Might be a triple kill though. for the first time this game it seems oh man he missed the hook again but but things river both can by his part and got his first kill in this game get slashed down by the rap beyond god light they got two beyond god light heroes in the team how is that even possible okay full down between mongols star track kill Playing a pub is just such a big convenience. You need a lot of composure, and and if you have that, if you doesn't, if you don't have that much composure or ability to handle the pressure, you you will lose. You you will lose during the game like this part. Ah, he's he's really lost. He look at his score, one pen. And the, see the two supports that I mentioned earlier that I I really don't like how they pick position four, two position four heroes in the same team. That super greedy drop. Hot one ten and Earth Spirit one seven. How are you gonna play it properly when when you force one of them to become like a water and buy all the stuff when they really need some items? It they are greedy support. I'm back into the wall and wall over there, wall over the wall. So, look, who is going to pass this wall? Oh my! I think they might have to call it and, and just you know in order to save their energy so that so that they can have time, some time to rest. Between the next game, have some time for team talk. But <laughs> the wall over the wall. <laughs> oh my god! This wall and oh. they really need a team talk. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Okay, let's take a look what we got next game. Ooh, man, next game gonna be quite awesome. We got RR kill from Indonesia. This is beauty gaming. The beauty we really need a point because they, they lost first game to team. Lost first game to team faces, and if I'm not wrong, I think it's our actual first game of the tournament as well. So, they really want to win the first game of the tournament of that tournament for team RRQ. Right after that, can be fanatic with this the trust, and we going to close the day with faces on gold. I like 
Oh, uh, that might be the last team fight. We saw the spells. Uh, now that one is a good wall. Yeah. So I think that that will hold Team Fnatic for a while. Wait for a wall. A wall. Oh, they got the middle right. Back to the second track. Spectre went for a hard draft. Pretty good choice out of the two damage items. That is exactly right item for it. 30 min 10. No chance at all this game to be. Mongol. There's a DD called the Mongol 5. Alright guys, we're gonna take a break after this and then we will jump right back to our kill with the Bill G, which is going to be a highlight match for that one. Yeah, it's back!